Okay, my name is Greg Saltz. I do a lot of soups at home. I'm kind of an amateur foodie. I live in uh, New Hampshire, USA. And uh, so a big thing I, 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 I like to put together when I'm cooking uh, a lot of these soups is the five S's. Salty, sweet, savory, spicy, and sour. So we're just going to go through that right now. I've got um, chicken stock. I don't like to always start out with just plain water, so I like to always add chicken stock so we got like a good uh, base to, um, to cook from. And if you cook any chicken at home and you want to save the, you know, the fat, you know, I, I like to add some rendering to that just to, to make a good stock to start from. So uh, then, so the first spice we'll add is salt. And, uh, but we don't want to put too much salt. But because I have soy sauce going in and soy has salt and soy is also savory, I'm just going to add a little bit of soy. Stir that up. And I'm going to add a little bit of fish sauce, something that every house should have a little bit of fish. Basically, you're, you're talking like liquid anchovies. doesn't take much of that, just a little bit of that. So I'm going to forego putting salt in this. I'll taste it later on to see how it tastes, to see if I need to add a pinch of salt. So see where we are so far. That's a good start. I may need to add a little bit of salt to that. So we're in the savory department right now, so I'm going to add miso to my soup. And miso can be, uh, it can be a little chunky. So I'll put it in a little strainer and put it in that water like this and just push it through so I don't have to, you know, worry about it being all clumped up when it's in there. That camera's going to get, that steam's going to fog up that camera. I wouldn't get that close. So, thank you Hannah, by the way, for filming for me. So, we're on savory. We've got those three from the savory. So how about a little sweet, huh? A little honey? Sound good? Not too much? And uh, I will add a little sugar. I like the, um, what do you call it, the raw granulated sugar. Not too much. Actually, less sugar will, will even sometimes make it feel a little bit sweeter. So now we're going to go to the sour. So you can add vinegar. I've actually saved a little bit of a pickle, a pickle juice. Mm. Give it a little sour, a little zing, a little zest. Let's see where we are now with that savory. Oh, I still have uh, I need a spoon. Let's see where we are. Oh, so now we need spicy. My favorite. So I've got some um, red pepper paste. It's Korean. I mean, I could put double that for me. I mean, that may be a bit much for, for some of you guys, but for me, that's right up my alley right there. So I'll let that, I'll stir that up, let that kind of add that flavor. And then on top of that, I got some, uh, some red chili flakes. And that really, that'll really zing it up. That might be a bit much for some of you guys. So we got sweet, spicy, sour, uh, salty, savory. Part of my savory will be mushrooms as well. The only thing I put in here is mushrooms, turkey, and I always add a little green. That's some shard. But don't, don't forget your bitter. We're going to add, uh, for bitter, we're going to add uh, some garlic, okay? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this simmer down. This is basically your, your soup base right here. Oh, I can drink that. I can add curry to that. So while I let this uh, cook down, I'm just going to add my meat and my mushrooms. And I'm just going to let that simmer until I, you know, the moisture of the water goes down a little bit. And I'm going to take that right there, that bowl, and just pour it over a huge bowl of rice. And I'm good to go. Right before, I, right before I'll, I'll add my greens. But when you add ingredients, I, I, less is more. 
Because I've fallen into the trap of just like, oh, this is going to be so good and just add too much. Less is more. So there you go. There's your five spices and your five S's with a little bit of B. Thanks for watching.